In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take a lot of text from a Word or a Google Docs document that already has heading styles applied and how to paste it easily into Brizzy text element. And all those heading styles are already applied. For example, here I have a text element. I highlight my text and I'm going to paste. And look at that. I've got this line here at the top. And when I go to the topography setting, it's already set to a heading one. If I click on this one and I go to topography, you'll see it's on heading two and this one on heading three. How can I set that up in Word or in Google Docs? And how do I get it in here? Hi, my name is JP. Welcome to the Brizzy YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe. Give us a like to keep the locomotion moving forward. Let's dive into how you go about creating these longer paragraph text documents that you can put all in one text element. I'll go ahead and clear out this page here so we can start from scratch. I'll bring in an empty block and I'll bring in a text element. Before this, we have to create text in Word. And I'm going to start with Microsoft Word. And then after that, we're going to go into Google Docs because unfortunately for these longer texts, especially if you're copying and paste, you will need to go the Google Docs direction. I've created some random text in lorem ipsum.io. I'll select the text, pick a chunk of it. I'll copy that and then I'll go into Word and I'll paste it and I'll clear all the formatting. Now we have normal text. What I'll do from here is to create a heading, which is going to be my heading one. Then after that, I'll have a heading two for this paragraph and a heading two for this paragraph. And then under this one, I'll make this a heading three. Let's choose another one over here. Make that also a heading three. And I'll make it a little bit more visual in just a moment if you are confused to what I'm doing. Maybe you didn't know that you could actually assign these heading styles in Word and in Google. In Word, what you do is you select the line. And then up here where you have your styles section, you will see this area, heading one, heading two. You can also right click on it or select it. And then you have the styles again here. And then you can apply them. Let me select this one. I'll put it on heading one. And then these two are going to be my heading two. So let me just change this to a capital S. For this line, let me go to styles. There's heading three. And the heading three often in Word only appears once you have applied the heading two, like the heading three and four. Up to that point, it won't appear because it kind of tells you without your heading one and two, why on earth would you need a heading three and four? Now I've got everything nicely set up here. I've got my heading one, two heading twos, and then these heading threes under it. I'll select it all, Control Command A, and then copy it, and I'll go into Brizzy. Let's follow into Brizzy. And this is going to work the same whether you're in WordPress or in cloud. I'll paste it, Control V, Command V, and we run into a snack. When it comes to the headings, I select here at the top, you will see that it did go to heading one, which is awesome. If I select this one, you'll see it's also on heading two. Now, this heading one and heading two does not come from the settings here in Word. This naturally comes from the settings here in your global styling on the left. This is where it will apply the styling as you set it up here in these presets. So you don't really have to care how it looks in Word or in Google Doc. What you have to care about is how it eventually will look in Brizzy. That's where you make those changes, but you can assign those styles in the Word editors. The problem that we have with Word is that once you go to paragraph, it cuts it for some reason into lines, and this applies hard line breaks. So if you want to go and fix this, which I don't recommend you do, you have to go delete and then, you know, put a space in there. And I really recommend don't do this because you just don't have visual representation here, whether you have actually removed all of that. Moreover, you are creating a lot of extra work for yourself, which you can actually do much quicker in Google Docs. If you go into Google Docs, and that's easy, docs.google.com, you just create a new one. And you can go through the same procedure like we did in Word. So let's go and copy this again, copy and paste it. And then I will just clear the formatting for all of this, select them all and clear the formatting. And now we have the same setup here. I can enter, make a line, select the line, and then up here in the toolbar, you will see normal text and heading one, apply heading one. You can also use the shortcut keys for that. And there you have your heading one. You go through the same procedure. Once you copy from Google, to Brizzy, you don't have the problem of the line breaks. 
but many people do it in Word. How can you then go about bringing in Word into Google Docs and then copy it in Brizzy? The easiest way to do that is to actually import it into Google Docs, copy it and paste it. Yes, it's an extra two steps, but it will help you to overcome the frustration of having to manually delete all those line breaks. Now, first of all, the mistake you will make, which you should avoid, let me delete this and get to a blank document. Do not go into Word and copy and then go into Google Docs and paste it. Though you've pasted it here, you will see up here, it still says heading two for this one, heading one for that one, and heading three. But for some reason, once you go from Word into Google, it applies a bold function. You can see the bold is activated here. And that's also going to happen now if you copy it and you paste it in Brizzy. Let me show you. I'll select it, I'll copy it. We go into Brizzy and I'll just create a new block so that we can compare that to the Word one. And then we bring in the text, select it, and we paste it. And now you will see that it looks like, yes, we don't have line breaks for the paragraph. If I select this and I look at the T for typography, it's set to heading one. But in my toolbar, I have also the B for the bold. It's also copied that style. That's how smart it is, but that's not what we had. In the Word document, it wasn't bold. Once you paste it in Google, for some reason, Google Docs thinks you have to make it bold. To avoid that, let's go to Google Docs, go to File, click on Control Open, and we're going to bring in that document. So first, go into Word and we save the document. I'll save this one. I'll call it Word Copy. Save. Back into Google Docs. Click Upload. Browse and from your computer, grab that Word file. And you will see that it didn't apply that formatting. It kept the original Word formatting. From here, you can simply select all the text, copy it, then go into Brizzy. Let's create a new block for this one. Bring in the text element, drop it, and paste it. And there you have it, even applying some color if you got the colors right. So heading two, that's our heading two, that's our heading one. And this is the way, this is the way you bring in that styling formatting from your documents. So at the very top, we started with the word one. We had the problem that the lines were cut, was forced into other lines. And we talked about the fact that this is going to be very frustrating. You have to remove those manual line breaks. And sometimes you won't be sure if you had actually removed it. Then we looked at what happened if you take the Word document, you copy the text from Word, you paste it in Google, and then you copy it from there and paste it here. We had a problem that Google applied a bold setting if you just copy the text from Word and paste it directly in Google Docs. Our solution was to save the Word document and then within Google upload it so that it can do the formatting and then it brought it in nicely, copied it from Google and pasted it here and voila. And now you know how to bring in those longer documents that you've set up in Word or in Google Docs or in any other editor for that matter. Best is usually to go through Google Docs at this moment to bring them in very nicely. That brings us to the end. Remember, go visit us at brizzy.io. Also join the forum. You can check down in the description below all the links we have for all the places we go to party. And I'll see you in the next video.